okay student another important topic of the lesson evolution of democracy actually the democracy where it is originated and which year it is originated the democracy in the in the not in the neutron in the how many years before it was started so that's we are going to discuss in the number the lesson number discuss from the point democracy began 2500 years ago in some city state of ancient Greece actually the democracy began in 2500 years ago in ancient Greece cities ancient Greek cities in the end of the world the democracy is the end of the world it is important to know that democratic institution exist in India as earlier as the Vedic period. In India also during that time uh, followed a democracy that means during the Vedic period. India also the Vedic period. That means democracy followed in during the Vedic period. Okay. Chanakya Arthasastra Vedic period. Chanakya Arthasastra Vedic period. Vedic period. Vedic period. Chanakya Arthasastra tell us that ancient India autonomous village community was basic unit of local government. Chanakya Rodiya Arthasastra in this book is said about the basic unit of local government. Village is the basic unit. Grammar would be lowest and basic unit is the village community. Chanakya, who was Chanakya? He wrote a Atasastra, said about the local government. During the later Chola period, then after the later, later Chola period, ancient Tamil Nadu. Kudavali system was Kudavali system was practiced. Which period? Kudavali system was very notable and the unique features of village administration of Chola's period. Actually, the Kudavali system is followed in which period? Mean Chola's period is one of the very important administrative system. What do you mean by Kudavali system? Mean uh, how many contestants want to participate in the election? Those names written on the form leave and put in the big part. Call um, any child, take one, one from one, one by one. Which name first came? First means those are president, the next one vice president, the next one, one and ward, then other categories of that level. So th this is the Kudavali system. Actually, this system. Kudavali system where is followed first to mean during the Chola period. During the Chola period. It is one of the very notable and unique features of village administration. Actually, Chola they, they are followed in, in village administration only they are followed a Kudavali system. Kudavali means the Krama Nirvagatam Pine Britina. The evolution towards democracy is represented by following values. After that, democracy developed in a valley part of the country then the democracy given more important values given more important value what are the values mean they given important to freedom democracy given for all the people are freedom then equality every human being has equal irrespective of caste religion male and female and literature and educated and educated ever likes every side and fraternity, everyone has a brother and sister, that is fraternity. Accountability. Then transparency. Transparency means believe, confidence, and trust. Trust means the same, both are same, that means confidence. So this is the important word given democracy. So the democracy given more, more important values. What are the important Freedom, equality, fraternity, accountability and transparency and the trust you know this is the important given by democracy okay so now what we have discussed yeah? evolution democracy mean which year it was first evolved that means two those five years ago in where ancient greek cities and uh, during the Veda period also in india followed the democracy and uh, chanakya also said about the local government method uh, then during the Chola period also, the, they have followed a Kudavali system for the village administration. Then next day, they have evaluation means, evaluation of the democracy given more important to the freedom, 
equality, fertility, then accountability, transparency and trust, I told you, you know, this is the evolution of the democracy. Next, types of democracy. In generally, democracy are two types. One is the direct democracy, another one is indirect democracy. Okay, generally how many types mean? Two types, direct and then indirect democracy. The type of the democracy refers to kind of the government and social structure which allow the people participate equally. So there are two types of the government democracy, that means direct democracy and indirect democracy refers to kinds of the government, you know, what type of the government they are following, first one. Then they give they are given social structure and allow the people to participate equally. So in the direct democracy and indirect democracy, they are followed with this kind of the information. Okay. What is the two types of the democracy? Direct democracy and direct democracy. I said. Next, what do you mean by direct democracy? And what do you mean by direct democracy? Now, one by one, we will discuss. First one, direct democracy. When the people themselves directly express the will on the public appears, the type of the government is called a pure or direct democracy. What do you mean by direct democracy? When the people themselves directly express the will, on public appears. The type of the government called pure demand, direct demand. Direct demand means people, they are asking the demand or express the values or anything directly to the government. That is called pure government or direct democracy. No, there is no any intermediate. Directly they are approached to the government. That is direct democracy. For example, what are the countries they follow the direct democracy means? Listen, ancient Greek cities, ancient Greek cities, Switzerland. So in this country, they are following direct democracy. So what is the meaning of the direct democracy given? An example also I given so far. The next one, what do you mean by indirect democracy? Direct democracy means a representative democracy. When the people express their will, on public appear through the elected representative, this type of the government is called a indirect democracy or representative democracy. But in the direct democracy, the people directly approach the government. But here, in indirect democracy, the people can express the any ideas, any any will through the representative only their approach. So such kind of the government we call as there. Representative democracy or indirect democracy. Do you understand now? Uh, what is the difference between the direct and the indirect? Direct democracy the people directly involved. But indirect democracy the people are that representative, elected their representative, through the representative only they are getting everything. So that, that is called as the indirect democracy. Okay, that's all about the direct and the indirect democracy. Next one. Forms of the democratic government. Democratic government means two type of the government they are following. One is the parliamentary form of government. Another one is the presidential form of the government. That is the forms of government. First one, parliamentary form of government and the presidential form of the government. Parliamentary form of the government, what are the country where they are following? Mean India, England. They are following the Parliamentary form of the government. Presidential form of the government. What are the country following? I mean, USA, France. USA and uh, France. Now, parliamentary form of government. Listen now. First, uh, electorate. Electorate, no? You know the people. Then, legislative, MLA. Then, executive, Nirvag. So, this is the pattern of the parliamentary of government. Presidential form of the government means electorate, executive, legislative. Both are same. But there, first electorate, then come to the legislature, then executive. But here, first electorate, the electorate divided into further executive and the legislature. That is the presidential form of the government. So, this is the forms of democratic government. In every, which country following democratic government means they are following 
one method parliamentary form of government sometimes they are followed some country some other country followed the presidential form of the country okay next another important topic merits and the demerits of democracy merits and demerits makkal achcha namalukku enna nanme and the demerits theme first merits of the democracy nearly the seven merits given on your book okay? one by one i explain now first one merits of the democracy first merits a responsible and accountable government democracy only the people uh, the government for responsible for the people and accountable for government na nambike urupanga irupanga nilayaga irupanga where democracy only and second one equality and fraternity in democracy country every people are equal and every human is our brother and sister this is the equality and fraternity of the government okay and third one sense of responsibility among the common people in democracy every people has some responsibility not only government even people also has some responsibility as for example if the government is not smooth thing functioning immediately the people show the reaction and also they are showing and also they show the development of the country so this is the sense of responsibility among the common people then fourth one local self government local self government each and every country of the democracy the village level they are followed a local self government not function not maintained by the central government and state government each and every village is maintained by local self government <coughs> then fifth one actually these are merits of the democracy the fifth one development and the prosperity of all in the democracy only every section of people want to develop every section of the society want to prosperity this is very possible in democracy only it is possible but when other form of the government in particular place group or particular person or individual only can develop but a democracy only development for all prosperity for all so this is one of the another merit of the democracy next one popular sovereignty iran that mean in the democracy only every kind of the religions treated as a equal not we are blind to any particular religion ella ella madathinavarum inga samama irukkan every religion it may be hindu christian or muslim everyone treated as a equal but another one the particular religion only dominate but in democracy is not suitable for any particular religion the last one sense of cooperation and a fraternal feel in the rest of democracy control the people work with the cooperation and together other people this is possible only in democracy so this is the merits of the democracy